Hey everyone, Living in Furnace here, and I kind of got a beard going on, and this is my third time going into this. Okay, so uh, a, a, a day ago, E3 passed, and uh, I am, I guess to sum that up, I'm going to get an Xbox One this holiday season, and a Nintendo Switch the next one, uh, so that I get more of a discount next year on the Switch, you know. I, I am quite interested in Switch. And I have a few games on the Xbox One that I already bought, and I am interested in that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, before I get more to, to the details, like just talking about a few games that came out, they're, they're being announced. Um, so, <clears throat> announcements for this channel. So Banjo-Tooie is coming along, I think I'm maybe like halfway through maybe? Uh, but by uploading daily, I might be finishing up soon. Probably not, though, actually. I, like, think about it. Unless, like, I mean, a two jiggies a day, maybe? I don't know. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know what else, honestly. Um, oh, yeah. My next, uh, Let's Play will be be I guess maybe starting in August or so uh, maybe in maybe in July it would be the uh, the um, Half-Life 2 series uh, Half-Life 2 and its episodes because <clears throat> because um, apparently like it's the uh, the the anniversary for Half-Life 2 episode 2 is coming up and wouldn't you know it's Half-Life 3 is still Nothing like like at least like Valve could at least like say oh we're not gonna make video games anymore and that would be like okay well at least we can you know see that you know at least we know it's it's officially not gonna be a thing oh well I mean it would be nice to see the 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 uh, the end of that that story but what can you do uh. So, after that, I'll get to Paper Mario, uh, Paper Mario 1, because, uh, Paper Mario 1, I've been kind of meaning to get to that, but I've been a little wishy-washy, but I think I, I, I'll go ahead with it, you know? Um, there's gonna be kind of a challenge, like I did with the, the Thousand Year Door, um, you know, regarding level-ups. And maybe a couple other things. I'm not quite sure, you know. In that game, like, the balance is kind of off, you know. Uh, let me think. I, hmm. What else, what else, what else? Okay, I think that's it. So, with regards to E3, um... So with the Xbox One, there I think the only game that they've announced that's like exclusive to Xbox One, or that I would get on the system, is Crackdown Two. I know that that's coming out in a few months, so fingers crossed that uh, that that game uh, is like bundled with the Xbox One S. Hopefully, even for just two hundred dollars. Um. So yeah, I, I, I again to to reiterate, I guess I already have the Halo collection, which came bundled with the one I got before. Uh, so the Halo collection, uh, Forza Horizon Two, uh, Sunset Overdrive, and Rare Replay. <clears throat> and I think through uh, through Xbox Live Gold, I got uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Um, yeah, that that's that's the one. That's like the first one, and it's sort of revival. Um, so yeah. Uh, as for Sony's PlayStation, I, I'm I'm still not. I I I I had a PS4, but I didn't really play it. You know, I just didn't get into it. <clears throat> I mean, I I played like the PlayStation Plus games a fair bit, but beyond that, eh. I didn't really like the controller either. Like I, it, it felt like like the control sticks were kind of stuck sticking out a little too much or something. 
I don't know, it's something like that. So I uh, gave that away, and I also traded in my Xbox One. So now I'm just you know with my PC and my uh, Wii U over there. <sighs> um. <clears throat> So with the PS4, I think uh, they announced Shadow of the Colossus uh, HD, so that's nice, but I'm not really interested in that game. Uh, there is uh, some game with zombies, I guess, and uh, Days Gone, eh. Uh, there's also Monster Hunter, but I don't really like Monster Hunter, and it's coming out to PC anyways, you know. A lot of games just, these days, just going on to the PC. Um, yeah. And the games that have come out for it, I'm not really interested in, you know. I've already played Gravity Rush a fair lot on the Vita, even though it's, it's on, like, PlayStation Plus, and now I don't have that. You know, since it's basically, it was basically a rental. But, you know, I played through it, got most of the stuff. It was alright, it was pretty good. Um, let me think. So, I guess, uh, let's uh, spice this up, you know, with, uh, with the Nintendo stuff. Nintendo Switch, I, you know, whether it's like next year or this year, I will get that system. You know, there's, uh, there's, of course, Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Um, and there's also Metroid Prime 4. That's coming out. And a main series Pokemon game. And also uh, uh, Skyrim. But, uh, you know, it's portable, of course. Like, like, the big thing about all this stuff is that not only are these, like, pretty good games, but you can take them on the go. You can like set them up on a on a table with the little control things, c controller things, um, multiplayer between the controllers, uh, and switch them into place and all that. Um, and apparently Skyrim is going to have motion controls, and I presume that the next uh, Legend of Zelda game, like not not Breath of the Wild, but the next one will probably have that, because it's just going to be on the Switch, I guess, yeah, I, I guess so, and that was, that was the case with the, uh, with the Skyward Sword, so this is kind of like a, kind of a, like a, like an alternating sort of thing, you know, like, a <clears throat> like Wind Waker, I guess took advantage of the GameCube hardware, uh, yeah, with like the Game Boy Advance, uh, so that was like only on the, uh, on the GameCube, basically, then the uh, then Twilight Princess was between those consoles, and Skyward Sword was on the Wii, only on the Wii, with the Wii uh, rem Wii Remote Motion Plus, whatever that's called. And then there is uh, actually there wasn't like a kind of in between one. Yeah, there was just Breath of the Wild way out at the end of the uh, Wii U's life cycle, kind of uh, with the Switch as well. So there's that. Um, but still, I'm not going to get it this year. I, I prefer to get it next year so that I can get like more of a discount or an extra game with it. You know, Maybe I can get both Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey with it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe even just uh, Mario Kart with it. You know, that, that'd be cool. You know, I already have that game, but you know, it'd be nice to see the, the new visuals and all that. Um, oh, and also an updated battle mode, even though it's kind of off. Like, it's it's only on, like, time only, you know. Like, you know, comp like like it, like in, in Super Smash Bros., which, again, that's another thing that's probably going to be a new thing coming out to, on to, to Switch. At least, like, the, 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 the one that's out now, you know. The newest one. Um... Like in Smash, you know, a lot of people prefer to play stock matches, you know, you have to actually fight your enemy, you can't just be hanging out for like two minutes. Um, and that, that's kind of the case in uh, Mario Kart, sort of, you know, I mean, it could, but then again, like if you, actually with this system, you know, if someone's just kind of hiding, someone's going to go after them, and they're not going to win anyways, because they're not getting any points. Anyways, um, tension over, um, 
I am going to get a Nintendo Switch. Uh, oh yeah, I'm probably going to get the new Sonic game, Sonic Forces on it too. I can't imagine that it'd, it'd be like much better playing on the other systems, you know. Again, like I, I, I'm, I'm. If the game like runs smoothly and looks nice, I'm fine. You know, I, I don't need that 4K VR. I don't, I don't even really need 60 frames per second. You know, I, I, I like it. I appreciate it. Sure, but if it's just 30, eh, okay, I guess. Um, but with the Switch, I think things tend would tend to be 60. I. I guess. Anyways, that'll be it for this uh, v this vlog. It might be a uh, vlogging time. I, I I'm not exactly sure. I kind of want to have that series uh, ending at uh, at 50. So who knows? Uh, anyways, that'll be it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for more Banjo Tui. I'm gonna be on break um, on the week of uh, of uh, Independence Day, the July 4th. Um, yeah, so stay tuned.